okay, one of the problems with SEO, like SEO is an important part of your practice marketing pillars, but I think um, one thing that often gets overlooked or mislooked is the S in SEO, which is search. You take advantage of SEO when someone's actually searching for your practice or a practice like yours, or they're looking for that solution. But a lot of times people aren't searching for primary care doctor. Uh, they're just living their life and doing what they do and griping about how long it takes to get in, how nobody returns their voicemails, how nobody returns their messages, uh, that the waits are forever, all those sorts of things. But if they're not actually looking for a new primary care doctor, then they're not searching and they're not hearing from you or hearing about your practice. And so if everything that you're doing is relying on SEO, then you're only seeing people that are actively searching. It's like dog food. <laughs> we just got two new dogs, and so that's why dog food is on my mind. Uh, when I'm not buying dog food, I'm not searching for dog food. And once I've found a dog food that doesn't cause diarrhea in my dogs and is at the closest place where I can buy, di <laughs> buy diarrhea, buy dog food, I'm just going to keep buying that, and I'm not going to be searching for it. But I am going to be seeing commercials on TV between you know streaming something on Netflix or Hulu. I am going to see stuff on social media about dog food and you know trying to get me to switch to the dog food because it's organic or grass-fed or I don't think grass-fed dog food. It probably is a thing. Um, and so that's the way that they're going to get me to change from the most affordable, nearest by brand to something more fancy for my dog is if I'm seeing it frequently, despite the fact that I'm not searching for it and I'm not looking for a new solution, if I hear about a new solution enough, if I see that brand out there enough and get in my head that, well, maybe my dog does, does deserve that and look at that dog running and wait, they deliver it to your house and I don't even have to go to the store and you know try and find the right one and buy the wrong one and then have to go back to the store or my dog gets diarrhea because I switched dog foods because I couldn't remember which one to get. All of those sorts of things, you can, you can reach your patients so much more frequently if you incorporate social media where they're spending their time we know that our patients are spending way too much time on this guy and so if you can reach them where they are then you're much more likely for them to recognize your brand and then when they go to search for a new primary care doctor they will go on to google and they'll type primary care near me and your name will appear on the list and they'll say hey i remember that practice because i've seen what they post on social media on a regular basis, and then they'll click and they'll schedule a meet and greet, they'll learn more about your practice, all of those sorts of things. But if they're not actively looking, then SEO doesn't help. And so you can't just rely on SEO to fill your practice because you have to be looking, you have to be showing how you work and how your practice works to people that aren't even at this very moment searching for a new primary care option.